Uh, somebody said to me the other day, oh, I was on the All In podcast, and the, I think the guy's name's David Friedman, who's the real kind of industry guy on there. He said, well, it's actually, you know, it's good for our country because it's cheap food. And he said, it was kind of racist because how does the food poor people eat? I said, it's racist to poisoning poor people. You know, that's what's racist. Yeah. If you actually look at the cost of, those, of that food, it's much more expensive than good food. Now, real good food costs money, and we ought to understand that, and farmers ought to be paid for it. So, you know, there's the illusion that it's cheap food, but we're paying for it on the Medicare bills. And yeah, with the end, with $4.3 trillion. You know, President Trump understands this. He wants to change this system, starting with agricultural policy, but then with the FDA and NIH and CDC. And the only way that we're going to get our country out of, out of this ruinous economic cycle and make America healthy again. I am personally so proud of what you're doing to make America healthy again. I always have thought your campaign and everything you were doing was amazing. I personally have been on this mission, as my friends will attest, since the beginning of time, making every meal, making sure there's no seed oils, everything. I, I've taught kids cooking school. The problem is, these are things that we want to fix. The school lunch program, about 75% of ultra processed foods, so it's all seed oil oil. Ultra processed sugars, starches, carbohydrates, all of this stuff. And, and then there's a thousand ingredients in our food that are illegal in Europe. The food stamp program, about 80% of that is ultra processed food. So the biggest expenditure for food stamps is uh, Coca Cola yeah. and other sugar drinks. The sugar industry is, and Coca Cola is one of the biggest. Contributors to the NAACP and the American, to the, you know, all the medical associations, the AMA, and uh, these other groups that are dictating what kind of food our kids eat, and it's all utterly corrupt. It's just so corrupt. You know, they had the, the top of the food pyramid was not now, but until a couple of years ago, was fruit groups. <laughs> and you know, they ate fruit groups is, is better for you than hamburger. <laughs> and we were taken off of saturated fats, which actually make people healthy. And we were told saturated fats are bad for you, and there was no science for that. Nobody has the, the chronic disease burden that we have in this country. There's no other country in the world that has 55% of its kids having chronic disease. There's nothing even close. We have the highest body counts of COVID in the world. We have 16% of COVID deaths. We only have 4.2% of the world's population. So why are people getting awards for what they, you know, for managing COVID? We literally have the worst record on Earth. The average American who died from COVID had 3.8 chronic diseases. We were dying at a rate of 3,000 Americans per million population died from COVID. If you remember the beginning of the pandemic when Bill Gates and Fauci were saying we got to get vaccines to Haiti, Nigeria, is going to get wiped out, these four countries are going to get wiped out. Well, lucky for them, we didn't do that. And you know, and you go across Africa, 320 people per million population, so 10 times the rate we have here. There's nobody with anything close to this. Yeah. And uh, so I will shut up and, uh, and never shut up. take questions. Yeah. Yeah.